Friends Privateer FX coming at you on the Tuesday second day of the first full week 7 January just got the Aussie chart here talked about selling high ones yesterday uh, this chart unlike uh, the yen crosses worked out we're just gonna take some profit on these uh, Aussies uh, here at the open so we will look to resell them back up near um, 40 and 50 um, but uh, we've had quite a few down days here and we think the figures gonna hold here at the open mainly just because this whole risk off world is going to zero um, Iran is going to come back with a vengeance um, this turned out to be basically a false dawn so for now um, we're sidelining our sort of risk off call and we're back in a neutral holding zone and f for this reason uh, we think Aussie should hold here let's go to Euro uh, not doing too much traded up to 04 yesterday after some decent PMIs we rode that wave up uh, now we're square again uh, keep in mind that the PMIs came out at uh, 66 yesterday so there should be some minor support uh, between 50 and 60 there also should be there's no reason we can't go down there because there will be stops below 60 for anyone holding euros uh, yesterday based on um, positive PMIs basically we've done nothing 16 point range let's not get too excited um, nothing going on this morning worth really speaking about um, in Europe we have retail sales but nobody really cares about that we've got core inflation data out of Europe but the volatility on that has been so low uh, needs to be watched it's 11 a.m. but I really have a low expectation that that's gonna move anything Euro Swiss looks cheap here uh, we talked about the fact that we do think um, the central bank is here on the 108 handle we have no real confirmation of that I don't want people to think that uh, because I live here I have some sort of um, magical inside information I do not this is an intuitive call um, I've just watched these guys for 20 years I kind of have a feeling on how they think and, and how they act um, I think they're here at 30 just smoothing things out you saw the reserves increase by two yards um, makes a little bit of sense to me now with S&P's back higher and gold lower and oil lower kinda makes sense that Euro Swiss should float higher um, 108.60 is kind of important really um, so let's keep an eye on that we had that doji on Friday we had this very bearish bar on uh, on yesterday we couldn't quite get through 60 but um, we'll be watching the 60 level I wouldn't say it's a break trade but on the hour a close above it um, could release some tension and take this thing higher Aussie we talked about it um, squaring this up down here below 69.20 sterling is higher but not doing too much um, dollar yen stopped out some shorts uh, we had a good piece yesterday from uh, one of the more famous guys uh, out of HSBC saying how selling dollar yen over geopolitical troubles usually does not pay this is also the case uh, I don't think dollar yen is going to do too much but there's no reason it can't float all the way up to 109 the figure just back to mid-range um, nothing really to do here we talked about negativity in South Africa yesterday uh, this thing turned around in a hurry we did print this 3690 high now we kind of talked about you know how we want to get short this currency pair 
this now looks like a good place. Um, so buying high ones, which is against uh, a lot of what you guys probably do out there, but um, something we in the sort of professional circles do from time to time. Uh, prices up through 1438, look important now. Uh, this is back in the middle of the range, just like everything else, so uh, not a lot to do um, with Dollar Rand at this point. You can see a theme here. Uh, there's not really a lot to do with anything. Gold, traded all the way back down to 56. Uh, now we're back at 68. Too many people bought calls yesterday in gold. So now this is going to be sideways uh, between 15.30 and 15.90. So this $60 area is going to create a lot of sideways bullshit um, for the coming days and probably weeks. So if you really want to get long gold, be patient. Uh, I do think you can also sell gold up towards uh, 80 and 90. Equities annoyingly um, retraced up to 35 but then closed at the highs so you had to just give up on that trade uh, we had a really really good short position I think our average was uh, 55 but we cut um, at the close yesterday just because of the close so now we're watching closely this bar still you know one day gone on the weekly bar you got to get long through the highs up here, um, or you got to get short through the lows. We will be very, very tentative uh, up through the highs. But we will put on a long position, a risk managed long if it gets up there. Um, and then we will nail this thing if it gets back down through the lows. And in fact, you can use yesterday's low as sort of a starting point down through 08. Um, you just want to smack the pony down there. As you can probably hear in my tone, there's not a lot going on here. Not a lot to do. Uh, we're in waiting and watching mode. Euro Swiss looks mispriced to us. Uh, the rest of it, we don't have a real strong feeling for. Uh, we've cleaned up our Aussie shorts, and uh, we'll see what the day brings. We've got retail sales, which is meaningless inflation out of Europe. And in the US, we also have a bunch of meaningless releases. Uh, I guess we have ISM non-manufacturing at 4 p.m. Actually, that'll be important. So uh, 4 p.m. Swiss time, we have uh, ISM services data out of the US. It is a uh, backward looking number, it's the December release, uh, but people will pay attention to that. Uh, otherwise we have trade balance stuff in Canada and the US, which is not really market moving. Alright, not a lot to say, we're, we're in sitting in waiting mode here, we're not rushing into anything. Um, and with that I will just wish you guys a good patient day ahead. And let's see uh, what the price action and the news flow brings. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.